Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about simplifying radicals. And this is part 3 of our different videos about simplifying radicals. If you want to watch the videos of our previous version of simplifying radicals, you can see it here at ilalagay ko sa ating description box yung mismong yung link ng ating videos. So let's start with number 1. In number 1, we are given the cube root of negative 8, x raised to 6, y raised to the 12th power. So as you can see here, we have a negative radicand, which is negative 8. So you might thinking, you might be thinking na, ah, hindi siya, ano? Ah, hindi possible na makakuha tayo ng cube root of negative 8. But, the truth is, negative 8 is a perfect cube. Because we can express negative 8 as negative 2 raised to the third power. Meaning, your negative 8 is a perfect cube. Same with x raised to 6 and y raised to 12. We can easily get the cube root of the different radicals that we have. So dito, ang ginagawa namin, uh, you can directly get the cube root of negative 8. And as you can see, I express negative 8 as negative 2 raised to the third power. Meaning, when we simplify the cube root of negative 8 or this one, the answer is negative 2. We will put it outside. And next here, for the variable x, this exponent 6 is divisible by 3, meaning this one is a perfect cube. So if we try to simplify the cube root of x raised to 6, the answer is x squared. So how do we how do we get that? So in our class, ang ginagawa namin, what I'm doing is we are dividing the, this exponent by the index if this is a perfect square. 6 divided by 3 that would give you the answer of 2. So we have x squared. For y raised to 12, 12 is divisible by 3 or by the index of 3. So to get the square root or the cube root of y raised to 12, simply put y and then divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3, that is equal to 4. And as you can see, this is the answer for item number 1. We have negative 2 x squared, y raised to the fourth power. So let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given the cube root of 54, y raised to the fifth power. Here, 54 is not a perfect cube. Same with y raised to the fifth power. Now, ang ginagawa natin dito guys, if the number is not a perfect cube, we need to factor it out. In which one of the factors is a perfect cube. So the factors are the cube root of 27 times 2. So these are the factors of 54 wherein this number is a perfect cube. Now for y raised to 5, we can factor it out as y cubed times y squared. As you can see, this is a perfect square and this is not. And y cubed and y, to the y squared is the same as y raised to the fifth power. Now let's simplify. The cube root of 27 is 3. 2 doesn't have a cube root, a perfect cube. So it will remain inside the radical symbol. So 2 and then cube. For the y variable, y cubed is a perfect cube. This is y. And y square, it will remain out inside the radical sign. Meaning, the simplified form of the cube root of 54, y raised to 5 is simply 3y times the cube root of 2y squared. And that's it, guys. So we are done with example number 1 and 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, we have the square root of 81 y raised to 4, y raised to 11, y raised to z raised to 13. Square root, 81 is a perfect square, so I will copy 81 here. x raised to the 4th power is also a perfect square, while y raised to the 11th power is not a perfect square, so I will factor it as y raised to 10 times y. For z raised to 13, the factors are 
This is 13. Sobra siya ng isa. Because 12 is a perfect square. So, I'll factor it as z raised to 12 times z. So, I can simplify this factors. Square root of 81 is 9. Square root of x raised to the 4th power is x squared because we have here an index of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. y raised to 10. Square root is y raised to 5. This one will remain inside the radical sign for z raised to 12 that is z raised to 6 12 divided by the index of 2 and then this one it will remain inside the radical sign so this is the answer guys we have 9 x square y raised to 5 z raised to 6 times the square root of y z so let's move on with number four. Number four, we have the fifth root of negative 32, x raised to 20, y raised to 5, z raised to 30. So you will be thinking na hindi to perfect fifth root, but this one is a perfect fifth root. We can express negative 32 as negative 2 raised to the fifth power. You can check it. You can multiply negative 2 5 times to itself. And it will give you negative 32. And all of these are perfect fifth root. So we have this one. X raised to 20. Y raised to 5. Z raised to 30. So what we have here, the fifth root of negative 32 or this one is negative 2. Next, the fifth root of x raised to 20 is x raised to 4. Simply divide this exponent by the index. The fifth root of y raised to 5 is y. 5 divided by 5 is 1. z raised to 30 is z raised to 6. 30 divided by 5 is 6. And as you can see, this is now the final answer to our problem. So that's it guys. And I hope na mapanood yung mga videos natin about simplifying radicals in our description box para mas maka-experience kayo ng mas maraming pa examples with regards to simplifying radicals. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!